What's up everybody, I'm Mir and welcome back to the realm of Vastin. And we are now located in... Can... 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 Town. I hope I said that right, I probably didn't. But we are here because I need a certain type of flower. Because I'm trying to make a banner for the IOU guild so I can ask favors of people and pay them with those banners, but I need an oxide daisy because I want the flower pattern and I've got all the resources on me to make the banner except for the oxide daisy and I've heard that there's a flower farm over here so I'm thinking this should be like a storage over here I thought, yeah there it is and there should be an oxide daisy in here there it is, perfect, we only need one and now we can make the flower pattern and now we can make our banner and actually let, let's just do it right here we got our black banner we're gonna pull um what do we need to put in first i think it's this and we need to put in the rim perfect and then we need to put in this guy and then we need to put in the flower i think hang on no 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 not, not yet not yet not yet Need to place in this. Yes, there we go. Now we place in the flower. Yeah, look at that. That's already looking majestic. And then we're gonna do two more things to it without the flower pattern. That we need to place this over here. And on the opposite side as well. There we go. That's our banner. How epic does that look? That's amazing. According to me it is. So with this banner, I'm gonna safely store that away somewhere in my ender chest. Right now, I'm gonna head over to Port Bray because I wanna get a quest from the Builder's Guild. Here we are at the Builder's Guild in Port Bray. It is beautiful, beautiful capital of the realm of Austin. But we're gonna go ahead and go inside and somewhere in here, it's up a flight of stairs, I think. Um, been there before oh yeah here it is we can claim a quest over here and then um, how this works is let's actually just claim a place over here to place our quest so we got mirror perfect and then we need to get a quest and i think that's one of those two doors quests is to the right quest room and we can push this button to get a quest but we've got to first read this book and explain what this is all about. Welcome to the Builders Guild. This is a great place to come when you need a break from the main kingdom of the season or you just aren't really sure where to start or what to do next. That's actually not why I want to do this but more on that later. Push one of the buttons to receive a quest book. This book will have something to build in the realm of awesome to fill it up. Each one is meant to be roughly equal, like uh, one church, two houses, three interiors, and stuff like that. You may try three times for a random quest, place the quest you choose, pause. Wait, what? Place a quest you choose to pass on in a chest below and try again. After completing a Builder's Guild quest, return here for your rewards. You get a special banner and you get. And this is why I definitely want to do this. You can get an in breaking five pickaxe, axe, or shovel. And then lastly, upon completing a quest, you place it in the chest above your lectern. So that's all good. And now we can try to get a quest. Any kingdom. What does it say? Build an adventure guild in any kingdom that doesn't have one already. That's actually. That seems like a pretty good quest to do. What else do we have? Road check. Check the roads and bridges between the whole distance from Chiki, Fox Globe, and Salea. Add bridges and finish roads where needed. This quest can be might be huge and can be done by two people. Oh, that, that's good for collabs. That, that's also a good quest. <laughs> Build a garrison in any old kingdom. Hmm. Ooh. I don't really know what to do. You know what? I'm, go I'm gonna pass on the road check for sure. I'm not gonna do that now. 
Oh my god, that's a lot of quests. <laughs> and then we got a garrison or one adventure guild, right? An adventure skill. I think I'm gonna go with adventure skill. Yeah, we'll go with adventure skill. Perfect. Okay, so what's the okay? That's just a demonstration of what to do. So we're gonna place this over here. And then so anyone can see what quest we're doing. And then once that is completed, we'll take the book, put it in that chest over there, and we'll get in here. And we can't enter, but we can take like a sneak peek. Ah, oh, not too much. Cap, cap, spanners, cap, picking things. Or next. Oh shot. I don't know what I have like whispering, but I'm gonna head over out of here and um Get some resources together and look for a place to build an adventure guild, I guess. So I'll, I'll meet you guys over there. What's what's the way out of here? Yes, it is. This is it. Okay, on to um, building an adventure guild. The other day, when I was taking like the panoramic view of the Yan Temple, I really struggled to find like a good adventure guild in the area, and I had to go all the way to. Uh, I think it was Port Bray, and then go back to the end temple just to get there in spectator mode. So, to solve that problem and to get our quest on the way, I'm gonna build an adventurous guild in Kalyle. And, oh god, <laughs> hope I pronounced that right. And I've, I've scouted around the city a little bit, and I think I found a few areas that we can build this thing in, but they're not. Well, some are better than others, and I'm gonna look at this from like a city planning standpoint as well. So where would we put an inn in this town? And we got, let's head over to our first spot. We got this spot over here, which is beautifully, well, it's just a lot of empty land. And it would be really, really good. There's lots of space to build something here. But from a city planning standpoint, this is like the rich area and I don't think they would have an inn over here. Where I think an inn would mostly be located is on the other side of town where the residential area is and where a lot of people live. And so I was trying to scout an area in here to build an inn and I don't really want to put it on the outside but I don't see that much of a choice because this thing is jam packed with stuff. like. There's not a lot of space. So we got that space over there that we could work with. And then I also thought maybe it could be smart to just have an inn at the entrance to the town. And that will be over oh I missed my landing. Over on on that hill over here. So we're gonna we could transform this hill into an inn, which could be quite the challenge and quite Good. And that, that's the thing, I'm, I'm thinking of building it here because that seems to be the most challenging and also one of the most logical places for it to be in. We can't go back really far though, because there's some stuff built up at the other side, which will add to the challenge. Yeah, there's, there's like a lumber mill over here. So, I'm gonna get some blocks ready, they're currently in the storage system over there. and. I'm gonna lay out some plans and hope that something comes to mind because I have no idea how I'm gonna tackle this. I have done some work on laying this adventure skill out and I think it's it's quite good for um, well what I'm planning to do and especially with the limited, limited amount of space we have. So we're gonna have just the building over here, most of it like in the mountain and up at the top of this hill. And then over here we're gonna have a little part that sticks out and you can walk underneath here just so you can continue on the pathway and there will there will be a doorway over here into the adventure skill. But with just like these beams here, I don't think you could really understand what I'm trying to do. So I'm gonna fill in the walls next, lay a roof on top of it and then we'll talk again. I don't know why, why I made it that hard for myself, but I think that is for the shape quite good we need to add in a lot of details just just look at these gorgeous builds around it it needs to to fit in with all of those and they they have a lot of details but uh, why do i need to make it myself it's so hard i i don't know why i decided to build it over here but oh my god this 
This roof design was a real pain to pull together. Just especially these bits over here. Oh god. <laughs> these were insanely difficult. I was planning on just continuing like this all the way over there and then it, it didn't look good. So I tore it down and I came up with this. I added in these little areas over here and then I, I did some kind of thing over here to blend it in a little bit better. So uh, yeah, that works. We need to add in a lot of detail. We need to add in windows and like flower pots. Maybe even like detail the roof a little bit. I don't see any like other texturing done on the roofs and stuff. So I might just keep it at that. But we definitely need to um, change some blocks around because I think it's too much stone brick at the bottom. So oh god, <laughs> we had our first visitor. Great, but. I'm gonna grab some cobblestone and change those out cobblestone then add in a bunch of stairs and do the details on the outside and once I feel that I'm happy with the outside we can finally move into the inside where the fun stuff is gonna happen. Three, two, one. Well that is looking really really nice I think. It is missing some windows because I forgot to bring glass, but I'm gonna give you guys a quick look around it. I've just added in like a bunch of details with these cobblestones and ooh, actually I got Let's place you over there. Yeah, that looks good. Let's hop over to the other side and do the same thing because they are mirrored except for the window. The window on this side is on that thing and the on the other side is on that thing. And then this is the only facade, well, the, the face that I'm not really happy with. But that's nothing some leaves will not fix, so it's fine, it's fine. And at the back, I really haven't put in anything much yet because I'm planning on having some flower boxes over here. So I just added in a few little bit of bits of detail so we can have some flower boxes. And some leaves to, to hide this backside because I don't think this will be used much. Anyway, with that all finished, we need to head inside because this monstrosity doesn't really have an inside yet. So we're gonna have to lay in a floor, well lay in one over here and one on that level. And then we need to fix the walls, fix the roof, put in some tables and all that stuff. But I'm gonna do the first, like the groundwork first, and then I'll meet you guys back and we'll do some details together. That sounds really quite interesting, doesn't it? And I've done the inside for quite a bit. I've laid out the floor plan as I want. So we got some stairs over there. We're gonna fill this with tables. Actually, let's just add some tables right now. I'm gonna use like these gap holdings. And we're gonna put this one at the edge over there. We're gonna add one over here, maybe over there. Just like that. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna have a big table over there. And then I want this to still be accessible. So let's just have a big table over here. Yeah, that should work. And then we'll have some other stuff. I got like a lectern, I got some chests, got some barrels. We got quite the good stuff to put in here. But I first want to explain what we're all gonna do. We're gonna have like some kind of bar over here so we're gonna block this off like that not with these of course so they can get their drinks over here or rent a room as well that's also possible because this is an inn and I need a trapdoor for this one I don't have trapdoor on me that's fine that's just fine and then we can go upstairs and then we got this beautiful big area over here that will still have some tables in. Like, hmm, we just have one. Yeah, that's good. So we got some tables over here. Now we need to put a painting over here because I can't break these blocks. Actually, let me show you. This is the part way through the hill we build in. So still need to keep those there, unfortunately. Then over here we're gonna have a room, or maybe two rooms, I don't know that yet. I'm guessing it's gonna be like one room because it's quite small. So you could rent this room. And then up here just got a little balcony. Not that much going on over here. But then up there I need to place some ladders. And we're gonna have like the storage of um, booze up there. So you're gonna have some big barrels up there 
There's not actually a lot of space, but we're gonna have some barrels up there. That's where they keep like their drinks and stuff. And we still need to place in like the windows, but I'm gonna go ahead and do all of that stuff off camera because unfortunately I have run out of time for this episode. So if you like the build that we did, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and all good stuff. And I'll see you next week when this thing is finished and we can put like the working stuff in it so we can get like the adventures, adventure mode, survival. Anyway, I'm rambling on. I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys. Bye.